Chris, for the first time, Marco Quintanilla's attorney is speaking out and she says her client didn't do the crime. Seen here in a green and white jumpsuit, Jessica Quintanilla ride for her second appearance in Solano County Court since the killing of Leilani Bosham. Prosecutors allege Jessica Quintanilla shot Leilani Bosham after a Halloween party in Sacramento. Solano County prosecutors said a love triangle could be the motive behind the 19-year-old's killing. Her brother Marco Quintanilla, seen here in a gray and white jumpsuit, is also being charged. Prosecutors say he allegedly harbored, concealed, and aided Jessica with the hope that she might escape arrest. Multiple friends of Bosham sat in attendance today in the courtroom. Also, there was a group that appeared family or connected to the Quintanilla siblings. They met privately with Marco Quintanilla's attorney. They would not talk to reporters. What's your relation to no Jessica and Marco? No comment. Today we heard from Marco's attorney, Lori Saville, for the first time. I believe they're innocent. When asked about her response to the arraignment being moved once again, now to November 12th, Saville says it's due to Jessica's attorney not being available until that date. I haven't received any discovery, so at this time I don't have any comment. On Par Peralta, a U.S. airman stationed at Travis Air Force Base was arrested for accessory to murder, but prosecutors haven't decided whether to charge him yet and was not seen in court today. Michelle Smith, a family spokesperson for the Beauchamps, told me yesterday that the family believes Juan, Jessica, and Marco played a part in the killing. All three people in this case are guilty. The spokesperson for Leilani Beauchamp's family tells, tells me that they do not understand that the prosecutor's decision on why Juan Par Peralta is not being charged, but are focusing on planning the memorial service for Leilani Beauchamp, which should happen in the next coming days.